Here's the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. A ridge is building up over the Rockies and up into the Canadian Prairie Provinces where they could see some really warm temperatures up there in Alberta and Saskatchewan. We have a flow coming out from, of the north, and that's going to bring a system across the Great Lakes that may scrape us later tonight with a little bit of rainfall. Otherwise, today it'll be mainly sunny with a few clouds on the increase late by late in the day. Highs mainly in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees or so. You can see that system just to our east as we move in here into Wednesday. There'll be some sunshine, few clouds in our eastern counties as that system departs. Temperatures will be a bit cooler, upper 50s to the middle 60s across the state, and those will slowly climb back as we move through Thursday and into Friday. As temperatures start to warm, the flow starts to come back out of the south as this trough over the east kind of starts to lift out, and this ridge over the west sort of flattens out as it kind of brings the warmth down from Canada surprise surprise down into the country you can see a storm system is going to be approaching from the northwest as we move into friday but it looks to keep us fairly dry here on friday with temperatures climbing back maybe into the seventies or so then the frontal system comes in unfortunately on the weekend figures so Saturday then even into Sunday, there's a chance of some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Saturday looks to see the best chance of precipitation, although it looks to be widely scattered. Sunday, Mother's Day, looks to be somewhat a half and half with a little bit of rainfall possible in our southern counties, though we can't rule it out elsewhere across the state. And highs mainly in the 60s or so with a few clouds around. Then that system stalls as a new system approaches as we move into early next week. And this could bring a little bit of activity on Monday. But as this system lifts up as a warm front Monday night and into Tuesday of next week, this could bring us some more widespread showers and thunderstorms at that time. And this looks to be the, the next real widespread chance of showers and thunderstorms is a week from today. So we'll continue to monitor that. As we move through the rest of next week, Wednesday, the system will slowly be departing. Temperatures look to cool back off, possibly into the lower and middle 60s. We'll have to wait and see on that. And then when we look at toward next Thursday, you can see the trough axis is just to our east. The flow is coming mainly out of the north and west, out of the Canadian prairie provinces. And that looks to mean te temperatures look to be somewhat modified back into at least the Ooh, excuse me, into the 60s as the precipitation is now off to our east and some cooler air dives in across the Can Canadian Prairie Provinces and into the Great Lakes as well. Still something to watch over the next couple of days though. Satellite image from last evening, we had a storm system along the east coast with some showers and thunderstorms there. Low clouds hanging back into the Ohio River Valley. Our next system crossed the U.S.-Canadian border, so that will be diving southward later today and into tonight. Watch warning map looks very quiet couple of issues, some air quality alerts around Phoenix, some flash flood warnings in North Carolina up through the eastern shore of Maryland and into Delaware. Otherwise, some river flood warnings in the south and nothing much else across the country. QBF chart doesn't look very quick, very exciting either. Rainfall through Saturday looks to be maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch around here. Heaviest totals across the eastern seaboard over Wyoming and into the northern and central Sierra Nevadas as well.